Rhode Island's bravest are called to duty. Members of the Rhode Island Army Reserve 443rd Civil Affairs Battalion have started the first leg of a year-long deployment to Afghanistan. Today, family and friends gathered to say goodbye with their loved ones now heading for training. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly was at the farewell ceremony. He joins us now live with these developments in America at War. Another deployment of soldiers in our area to dangerous Afghanistan right after Thanksgiving and just before Christmas. Emotions ran high as husbands and wives, fathers and mothers said their goodbyes outside the U.S. Army Reserve Center in Warwick. In that mission, three dozen soldiers, members of the 443rd Civil Affairs Battalion, headed for a year-long deployment in Afghanistan. Is Daddy being deployed? Yeah. We're going to miss him? Yeah? This is it, yeah. First time over. First time over. We're ready. We're all ready. We've been training and training and training, and now we're ready to go. We just want to get over there, get it started so we can so we can come home. There's a lot of uncertainty. You don't know how everything's going to go, so we try to prepare and, you know, come up with a plan, but still... We're not sure exactly what's going to happen next. Roughly 65% of these soldiers fought in Iraq in 2007. But for almost all of them, this is their first deployment to Afghanistan. I'm excited to be going. I'm not too excited about leaving, leaving my family behind. But, I mean, it's, I believe in the mission that we do over there, and it's important what we do. Both happy and sad. I mean, I'm sad that he's going to be leaving, but... Um, I'm really proud of everybody. I met a lot of these guys. These are a lot of really good guys, and um, they'll keep him safe over there. Right away, the soldiers are headed to Fort Dix in New Jersey for additional training. Then they'll come home for Christmas, and at the new year comes the real mission, Afghanistan. Live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.